Well, our team has had some great moments this year. We've had some great learnings along the way as well, and we've gotten better and better. The, the, the thing that I'm proud of with this group is just how we've continued to respond to adversity, continue to respond to not playing our best, and their willingness to always take coaching and to get better. And that's something you need to do as you head into the postseason with one and done time. This team has definitely developed some key habits you need going into the postseason. But also, the, the best teams that, that I've been a part of here get better during this time also. They get better during the postseason. And the experience that this group has had from last year and then this season, you know, we've been in some big time games. We've won a bunch of them. Uh, we've come up just short in a bunch of them. And so understanding each possession is so important. You know, that's something this group has done overall. Is they've done really well. Even in some games where we've been down or haven't played our best, we've been, we've been able to compete and fight our way back to be right there to win. And so there's some, great, there's some great fight in our group. We just have to have it all the time in the highest level as you go into March, hoping to make your, make your runs in the postseason tournaments. Four months and now 30 games since the Blittles began the season against Dartmouth. John Shire's group has arrived at the regular season finale. It's Duke and Carolina, and off we go from Cameron. Spinning, needs some help. Going to work on Baycott. A ball fake and a fade away. Good. Al Filipowski makes it 4-2. to two. In the paint, Mitchell floats and got the roll. Good defense by Tyrese. Now Cadeau reaching in, trying to knock it loose. He did. Up top, Ryan a three. Got it again. That's his third. And John Shire wants a timeout. The Blue Devils down 15 to four early. Right back to Tyrese. Off of the screen, set by flip. Probing into the paint. Scoops with the right hand and scores. Cadeau whips it cross court. Stolen by Proctor. And a run out and a dunk to cut it to 11. Turns down the screen. Fed it back up top for Bard. Now Filipowski has it. Dribbling to the right. Knocked out of his hands. Got it back. Fed McNane. Jared on the drive. Looking for space. Pulls from 15 and scores. 12 to shoot. Oh, he did lose it. And Proctor out of there with it. One on one with Davis. He'll lay it in. Two breakaway fast breaks by Proctor already. Thanks to good defense. The Duke's got it down to 10. Looking to the right, there's McCain off of a curl of three. Got it! Jared McCain hits the first three of the night. Lobs it back for Jeremy Roach at the center circle. Nine to shoot. Probing to the right baseline. Roach off the window and down. Sizing up for Mac Ryan. Drove right in. Don't slap that. Lost it. Flip got it back. Somehow scored. Threw some traffic in on Ingram. Spun to the middle. His jersey tugged at. Still going to work. Put it up. Count it. Flip now locked in. McCain curling into the paint. Back up top, Roach a three. Got it! It's down to one, 43-42. Filipowski driving Baycott, got to the paint. Spun right by him to lay it in. A ball fake sent, Baycott flying. Knock loose by Cadeau, he goes to the deck to save it. Throws it nearly into backcourt. Filipowski trying to save it, he did. To the left, Proctor, a good look from three. And it rattles home. Half the shot clock is gone. Back for Jared at the top of the key. Bodied up by Davis from behind, into the paint, scooped it off the window for two. Good body position for Jared, looking for McCain, loose on the right of three. Got it! What a pure stroke for Jared McCain, he's got 16. To the right, McCain wants to drive, got a step on Davis into the paint, put it up, drew a foul, hit it, and a chance for three. McCain crafty in space, faces up, sends it to the right, Jeremy Roach on the drive, in on Baycott, kicks to the left, power a three. Good! And it's down to six, and John Shire is going to use a timeout. Too strong, the rebound tapped out. Roach has it, nine seconds to go. He'll launch. That three rattled around and went with 5.8 to go. Power will be the inbounder. Going to have to launch down court. It's high enough to where Filipowski can kick to the corner. McCain a three. Oh, it rattled out, and that'll do it. 
As the Blue Devils fought valiantly. But in the end, the hill was just too tall to overcome. As they fell behind early. And they fall here at home 84 to 79 on senior night. The thing that was probably most disappointing for me was is we weren't first to the floor. You know, we weren't first to get loose balls and, and rebounds. And a lot of the times when you play one against them or two, you're playing for an ACC championship, you have to make those plays. And for us, we have to learn from it. We have to grow from it. Uh, but certainly we didn't make enough of those plays in that game to put ourselves in a position to win. Unfortunately, sometimes the way you can develop your edge to a, even a, gr a greater level is too loose and to have a setback. And look, for whatever reason, this team has needed that and we've grown from it. And I don't look at this any, any differently. You know, it's, we have to, we've addressed each game, whether we win or lose, with br brutal honesty, you know, direct feedback with what went well in a game and what didn't go well. And it's the same way in this case. We need to have our edge all the time. We can't wait until we get down in a game. You can't wait until something bad happens. You have to have it all the time. This is one and done time now. And uh, I expect us to have that. Duke All Access is brought to you by Gatorade. Greatness isn't about what you've done, it's about what you do next. By Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. And by Coke Zero Sugar. They say Coke Zero is irresistibly tasty. Does that make it the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. You can feel confident Continental is the smart choice in tires. And to handle extremes? Yep. Tested from the Texas desert to near the Arctic Circle. Really? Really. Anything for the guy who finds that one pothole? Yeah. Road hazard coverage has your back. For real? Absolutely. Were they made by, like, a bajillion engineers? Well, closer to 100. Continental. Welcome to the smart choice in tires. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $30 on the GTA 26 handheld battery pruner. Real steel. Find yours. I need to try it first. Yeah. It was great to honor the, the seniors in our program, and that's always been something special for our program. And, you know, college basketball, times have changed. We're not gonna see that as frequently. So when you have a Jeremy Roach come through your program, when you have a Spencer Hubbard, when you have a Ryan Young, who's got a second degree here and given us two, two terrific years, it means a lot. And I just wanna thank all the fans and thank everybody supporting us you know, the, the atmosphere that Cameron was for senior day, the atmosphere the entire season, you know, for every single game is what sets us apart and is so special. And I could not be more grateful for all of you, everybody that showed up and showed out in a big way. It meant a lot to our players, it meant a lot to our seniors, uh, and it really catapulted us to have some big time moments in Cameron this year. 
Duke Basketball 360, presented by Continental Tire, the smart choice in tires. So Jeremy has meant a lot to our program. He's played over 120 games, played his freshman year during the pandemic, you know, with the COVID season, and then uh, has led us to a Final Four regular season and tournament ACC championship. And this is a highlight from his freshman year. And you can tell because nobody's in the stands. And he just really persevered. And right away as a freshman, you can see the burst, his ability to score. And then his shooting. And we had to get him to be more ready to shoot as a freshman. But his anticipation, his athleticism just jumped off the page at us right away. Now you flash forward to a, to a sophomore year. And... You can tell it's a sophomore year because there's people in the stands. And Jeremy had some of the most key baskets all year round for us. Late in the shot clock here at Virginia. In the ACC tournament. Uh, in the quarterfinal game. Being ready to shoot from three. And this is a special run that he went on during the ACC tournament and the NCAA tournament. Again, the, the three to clinch it late. And then one of the most special moments of his career was against Michigan State where he really hit some of the all-time shots uh, to put us in a position to play in the Sweet 16 game. And then he did the same thing in the Sweet 16 against Texas Tech. He was even better. And this was a key basket here uh, in the second half down the stretch. And then really he was a stabilizing force for us his junior season. This was one of the uh, marquee games playing against Iowa in Madison Square Garden. At home against North Carolina, he hit multiple clutch baskets to give us the lead and, and to give us the win. And then against Virginia Tech. This is a great moment for Jeremy. You know, he scores 20 points in the second half of the ACC championship game. And he has a great way in the paint of pivoting and finding ways to score. He's a very crafty finisher. One of the best guard finishers that I've coached. And how about Jeremy this year against Baylor in the Madison Square Garden? He has the pass to Ryan. He also had right here where he comes back the next play and then he gets to his pull up because they have to go to Ryan. And that's been a signature play for us throughout the year, just putting him in a wing ball screen. And he finds a way to make it happen. And the thing that he's done this year, he's shooting almost 45% from three. You know, his catch and shoots have been great. He's been very consistent. And then he's been a, a very willing and unselfish passer to get to make other guys better. And this was a great moment here, just against Wake Forest. Just it's brilliant coaching, just putting him in a ball screen and letting him make something happen. Roach off of a screen set by Flip. How about a three? Big time! Cameron in a frenzy. Every year, thousands of athletes disappear in clutch moments due to falling hydration levels. I used to go missing all the time. I let everyone down. I even let Shannon Sharp down. Um, yeah, you let me down. They've been told how you feel yourself doesn't matter. That electrolytes are all the same. Then just like that, they're gone. Get yourself back in the game. Get yourself a Gatorade. Could be the difference between dominating and disappearing. Gatorade, rehydrate, replenish, refuel. Duke's new century cries out for a university where the drive to discover is not hemmed by disciplinary logics. Where philosophers work side by side with physicians and physicists. Where nurses find inspiration in narrative theory. Where mechanical engineers team up with marine biologists or musicians. I believe Duke will continue to be that university together. When you're injured, you should not be ignored by the insurance company. We know the amount seems low, but this is what your case is worth. Just click here. We understand you can't work. Click the bottom. You want more. Call a law firm that will fight for the justice you deserve.
You weren't gonna click that, were you? Tell them you mean business. Call the law offices of James Scott Farron on the Hurt Line right now. You can have live college sports in your hand this year with the brand new Varsity Network app. Hear live, play by play, and keep up with your favorite teams and audio broadcasts no matter where you are with this free new app. Be sure to download the Varsity Network app today. Number 25 going to work. Mitchell soaring in for two more. Wide open! And he throws it down with two hands. Dunk it down. It's been Mark Mitchell all day long. Mitchell steps through. Oh! A reverse pull up. Okay, we're here with the film room with, with the Mark Mitchell. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of Mark and what he's done this season and how he's just continued to grow as a player. And we're going to take a look at some clips and see what Mark sees and, and share what we've been working on uh, as a team. All right, let's get into the, to the defense first. And, and there's not a more versatile defender in the country than Mark and what he's done and his ability to guard one through five and all over the, all over the, the court is so big for our team. Why don't you just talk about in transition what you see right here? Um, yeah, I think uh, I kind of almost fell into that, to that still. Um, just trying to read the defender's eyes and uh, just be active with my hands is something we talk about every day and uh, just let them begin to steal. You know, a big thing for Mark is his versatility. So here, I mean, right now you see you're going to five, right? You're going P.J. Hall, and your post defense is this is one of the biggest plays of the season, defending him inside. Do you remember this play? I do. I remember uh, I remember y'all told me to go guard P.J. Hall. I think Flip might have had a couple of fouls. Um, and it was win time. I was just trying to make a play late, um, do what I could, not let them seal me under. And obviously I got handled the ball, and it let us get in a steal. Okay, another time. Now you're going to shooter. You're going to Monsanto for Wake. And coming over on the weak side to block a shot. Yeah, I seen Jared. I got sealed in by uh, Reed there, and um, I didn't want Hunter Salas to get, get an open layup, so I came over to try to protect the rim. And um, you know, it's hard to leave a shooter sometimes, but uh, you gotta do, you gotta protect the basket all the time. And then not many guys can rebound or block shots and push, which you can. Here's an example, and uh, you have great help side awareness here. We doubled the post. And again, your active hands makes a difference. Yeah, um, have active hands on the traps something we've been talking about all year. And um, this is one of probably the only time we've got it <laughs> in a while. So uh, obviously we can get it. Well, it must be, it's not the coaching call on that. It must be you finally did it right, the, the fact that we yeah, got it. So anytime right, yeah. uh, I can have my defense lead in the offense for us, that's going to be good. And uh, obviously I pushed and found Jared and he uh, hit open three. Another key moment here, right, and getting a key stop you walled up, right, and just manned yeah. up and made a play. Yeah, uh, Carr obviously had a, a couple buckets on us early in the game, and I just tried to take it upon myself to not let him score. Obviously, it was a big time, big moment in the game, um, and I knew I was going to need to get a stop, and I just uh, fought my instincts, didn't let him get too deep in the paint, walled him off, and got a good, good stop. Okay, something you've been doing an amazing job of this season is offense and rebounding. Just talk us through as these clip, clips go, what you see and what your intent is when the shot goes up. Um, yeah, I think any time... Uh, I mean, I think my man actually had stepped up to try to contest Jared, so I knew I was going to have a free lane to the basket, and um, I was just in the right place at the right time and try to go up strong with it. And something where me and you have talked a lot about, but how you finish through contact just as your career has gone on here has been such a difference. Same thing, right? Being in the right place, yeah. the right timing. Yeah, obviously um, my man went to contest a shot, and I was there for the putback. You know, I'll just say for everybody watching, you know, Mark's one of the few guys in the country that can run the break and, and sprint for early uh, rim attacks, whether it's from the catch or him driving, but also he can lead a break as well. And his versatility is what makes us so dangerous uh, pushing in transition. So why don't you talk us through here what you see? Um, yeah, obviously uh, running ahead is something I always try to focus on, get out ahead. And obviously we have a lot of guys, all of us can push um, the fast break. So when any of us have it, um, just trying to find mismatches and attack and find open opportunities to get easy points. How about right here in this spot where you're pushing the break? Um, yeah, I think uh, I've seen him backpedaling. Uh, he never really stopped the ball. So I just was trying to keep pushing, keep attacking. 
I think I think in film the next day we talked about this. Could that not be a dunk? It could. I was trying to dunk it, but <laughs> the ball slipped out of my hands. I just if I was, I mean, I wish I could do that if I was you. But I just, you know, I always talk to him about things I'm jealous of. Like I'm jealous if I could have done that. So I try to get him to do things that I couldn't do, and that's one of them. Okay, the contest, and again, running and leading the break, right? Yeah, and uh, obviously my uh, legs get out a little bit on that one, but uh, I see him coming, hit a little Euro step. And then the am one, and the thing that our team has done, the sharing has been so good. Yeah, just trying to fight for a loose ball here. Um, and obviously anytime you get run outs like that, it's good for all of us, good for our team. And I love this clip because look, you start even, you know, right here, you're even, you're really one of the last guys on our, on our end, and you beat everybody down the floor. Yeah, obviously that's a great pass from Flip, and obviously the versatility just, when he gets the ball, I can run. And um, I seen it was opportunity, and I just uh, took off and knew I was gonna get a dunk. Do you think people know you used to do track? <laughs> I don't think they know that, but uh, I feel like I show glimpses of I mean, this clip is one of the times you, people shouldn't be surprised seeing you, right? Yeah, I think I- You uh, wanna tell people what you did in track? Yeah, I used to run the 100, 200, and I used to long jump. Uh, I was actually really good and went to Junior Olympics for years when I was younger, but I stopped in high school just because the time constraint was a little too much. What were you best at? I was best at long jump. I actually won Junior Olympics uh, when I was 12 and 13, and then I just kind of stopped doing it just because of the time. But uh, it was fun when I did it, but I don't know if I could do it like that anymore. <laughs> well, I'll say this. B before signing off from the film room, uh, th there's – a few guys since day one when I got the job as head coach at Duke, uh, I called that first day and I knew this guy had to be a part of our program. And Mark Mitchell is one of those guys. This guy's an ultimate winner and he does everything to win. His versatility is unlike anybody else in the country, defensively, offensively. And I'm proud of what he's done. He's got a lot more in him. The buzzer beater, that moment when time stands still. Our collective breath held as the ball hovers above the rim. But almost a third of those shots were set up by a passer who made the smart choice. Throwing an assist takes trust, IQ, and total confidence in your decision. And the greatest one? My pass to Leitner in 92 wasn't too bad. Continental, the smart choice in tires. These mascots represent some of the most heated rivalries in college sports. What could possibly bring them all together? Everyone agrees on the best team in smart home security. CPI. team wherever they take you. With over 30 hotel brands, Marriott Bonvoy has a brand for every kind of fan. We still believe in the American dream. A dream filled with promise. A dream filled with commitment to our neighbors and our communities. Where we work hard and succeed together. Where we take care of those who serve for us. SRS delivers with integrity and purpose. Through the fastest growing family of independence in the country. Company by company. Person by person. Rooftop by rooftop. SRS Distribution delivers more than building products. SRS delivers dreams. Final nine seconds, everybody on their feet. Proctor grinning ear to ear. And for Duke, the dynasty continues. They've won their 22nd ACC title. 59 to 49, the final score as they beat Virginia. And for John Shire in his first season, he's an ACC champion as a head coach. The first in the history of the conference to do it as a head coach and a player. Our program has always been about hunting banners and to be able to hang a banner in year one and win an ACC tournament championship. You know, it was, it was an important moment for our team. 
for our program. And I was incredibly proud of our guys because that year was very trying. You know, we went through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot <laughs> that first year. And uh, for our team, just to hang tough. And we played, you know, a couple teams. You know, we played Pitt in the first round, but then we played Miami. And we played Virginia, who both beat us uh, during the season in tough games on the road. And for us to respond, and just we were so connected, tough. And to win a championship uh, meant a lot to, to me, our program, and most importantly, our players. As a player, there's probably not a more important time than the 2009 ACC champion, tournament championship that we won because the first two years for us, we went through a lot. You know, we're 22 and 11, year one. My sophomore year, together as a core group, uh, we lost in the second round of the tournament. And so we were itching and waiting to win a championship. And, you know, we played down in Atlanta and uh, we went on a great run, beat Florida State in the finals. And there was a moment of uh, growth, you know, and just gave us that much more belief that we could do something special. Went to the Sweet 16 that year. And then the following year, obviously, we, we won the ACC tournament again. And then the ACC regular season, the ACC tournament, and the NCAA tournament. But it was it started with being able to win in 2009, and it gave us that added belief. Holding the ball out front with the dribble. Stationary is Nolan Smith. The ball comes to Shire, turns, shoots, got it! Shire nails the three-pointer with 18 seconds left. Blue Devils now up 63 to 59. The ACC tournament is uh, one of the premier moments for a college basketball player to, at Duke. You know, it's, uh, I think back to the times when I played and all the moments that I've coached, uh, the history, the amount of great players, uh, teams that have come through, and it's the first taste of one and done time. And so that's how we've treated it as a program where it simulates, if you're, you know, fortunately we're in a position we're gonna play in the NCAA tournament, but you get to simulate what that feeling is like. And so for our players, it's an amazing opportunity for our team, and we'll treat it as such. It's one day at a time, let's go for it, and obviously we're competing to win a championship.